Hello friends, in our previous lecture, we have completed the third type of transactions. Now today, we are going for the next type that is type 4 transaction of goods. So let us all write first in our notebooks. <coughs> type 4 Transactions of goods. Now let us read about this and then if anything is required, we will write. So this thing is given on page number 64. So everyone on page number 64 transactions for goods and assets. But we have separate some for goods and for assets. So first we are looking for goods. In this classification, two types of accounts are included, goods related transactions, asset related transactions. For both this type of transaction, rule is same, debit what comes in, credit what goes out, we all know. Now first what we are looking about good related transactions. The basic objective of business activity is to earn profit from purchase and sale of goods. Whatever commodities are traded by the businessman, that respective commodity is the goods of business. The business which we are doing, that are our goods, that we should know. Example, cloth is goods for clothes month. Goods comes in when businessmen purchase the goods. Thus, as per the rule of debit code comes in, goods account is debited. Due to day to day purchase of goods, purchase account is debited instead of debiting goods account. When goods purchase this defective knows as per the sample of inferior quality. In this case, goods will be returned back to the supplier from whom the goods is purchased. It is known as purchase return. In these circumstances, goods goes out from business, thus as per the rule credit, what goes out, so purchase return account will be credited. Now they are explaining about purchase and purchase return. Whenever the goods are coming in the business, uh, debit what comes in, so purchase account is debited. And on the credit side, if you have paid the cash, then cash account. If you have paid to check, then bank account. If you have not paid, then parties account. And if you have paid partially, uh, some amount is paid by check and some amount is not paid so like the previous day transaction purchase will be debited half amount by check so bank will be credited and half amount is not paid so parties account will be credited in the same way when these goods are returned back so again goods are going out but we are returning the goods which we have purchased so purchase return will be credited and on the debit side name of the party will be uh, debited okay now goods goes out when the businessman sells the goods thus as per the rule of credit what goes out goods account is credited due to day to day sales of goods sales account is credited instead of crediting goods account. Goods sold by businessman is found to be defective not as per sample of inferior quality in such circumstances customer returns the goods to businessman this is known as sales return when goods comes back as per rule debit what comes in goods account will be debited goods coming back in this form is debited to sales return account. So friends, what we need to understand from this thing is a simple thing that goods are going out due to, per, uh, due to sales. So sales account is credited. Now the when goods are returned back from sales return, so sales return account will be debited. Now two or three things are not mentioned in this thing that we need to write this thing here. First you will write what is given in the book itself. Goods comes in through purchase, debit, purchase account. When the goods are coming in through purchase, debit, purchase account. Goods goes out. Purchased earlier. When the goods are going out, which are purchased earlier, so instead of debit now, credit, purchase returns account. In the same way, goods.
going out through sales. Again, goods are going out, so credit. Sales account. In the same way, goods comes in, sold earlier. Now the goods are coming next, sold earlier. Debit. So this is the simple concept. Now one more thing. Goods going out. To other reasons. Credit. Which are the cases where goods are going out for other reasons? That cases are goods destroyed by fire. Goods destroyed in rain. Goods given in charity or donation. Goods gone by theft. Goods withdrawn for personal use. Goods distributed as free samples. Goods given as advertisement. Goods exchanged by purchasing any other asset. So when the goods are going out through other reasons, that is called outward of goods, these are these cases. Destroyed by fire, destroyed in rain, always credit purchase account for that. Given in charity or donation, gone by that, withdrawn for personal use, distributed as free sample, given as advertisement. Now this is new for us. We are exchanging the goods for purchasing asset. Suppose a transaction is there. That we are purchasing furniture for the business and we are giving our goods to him. Now furniture is of 5000, goods were of 3000. Now, which amount is to be written because debit and credit should be equal, which amount is to be written? So, always the amount of goods is only written. Our goods are going of 3000, okay, furniture is of 5000, that is not a problem, but our goods were of 3000, so goods 33000 3, and 3 will be. Now, this is the basic thing. One more thing we will write about the discounts. Discounts which we have learned in the previous chapter. These are all the concepts. Again, we have the concepts for discounts also. Discount is of two types. Discount allowed to sales. We are selling the goods and we are giving the discount. So that is discount allowed. 
that is our expense and debit. This discount below this to be debited because we are selling the goods and we are allowing the subdiscount. Discount received through what? Through purchase. Income and it should be credited. So credit it. Then based on types number one. Trade discount. Now about trade discount we are writing. Given to everyone. Non recorded in books. Subtract. From amount of goods that trade discount is such a discount which can be given to each and every trader if it is mentioned in the question. So it is not recorded in the books, and we have to directly subtract from goods only. Cash discount given to only. Those persons who are immediately paying the amount through cash or check, then recorded in books as discount allowed or received subtracted after subtracting trade discount This is very important. Trade discount can be given to everyone, but cash discount is given to only those persons who are immediately paying the amount through cash or check. Who are immediately paying our amount, not keeping our amount outstanding, that they will pay in future. But who are paying immediately? If you are giving them the goods, they are giving the cash. If we are taking the goods, then we are paying the cash through cash or check. Both are allowed. So it is allowed on the amount which is actually paid. So if there is a transaction that goods are sold of ten thousand, half amount is paid and half is not paid, then trade discount can be calculated on whole amount, but cash discount is calculated only the amount which is paid. The amount which is unpaid cash discount is not allowed. Now trade discount is not recorded in books, but cash discount is recorded in books as discount allowed or received. Okay? Then subtracted after subtracting trade discount from the amount first, they we cannot subtract it first. Subtract trade discount then after cash discount. If you are seeing the sums, then only you will understand. But these concepts are important. If I am not giving these concepts, then nothing you will get. Okay? These concepts were in chapter number one. I know, but who will remember that concept? Who who is doing that must revision. I know, so I have to give this concepts. Simple thing. Yes, you write. Now we are going for the sum on page number one zero three. So these are all the important concepts which are to be remembered. Still, we will get the concepts from the sums only. This is just a theory part. And theory part, if we are not seeing, then we cannot do any type of sum. Oh, question number nine. Write journal entry for the tra following transaction in books of Ramesh. So transaction in the books of Ramesh. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन जर्नल एंट्रीज इन बुक्स ऑफ रमेश डेट पार्टिक्यूलर्स एल एफ नंबर डेबिट रूपीज क्रेडिट रूपीज In the same way, we are selling the goods through cash. So goods are going out, sales account credit. Cash is received immediately, so cash account debit. So one four forty in that first transaction. Sorry. Purchase account debit two. Cash account. Now purchase account is debited with fifteen thousand, and in the credit side, in the line of cash account fifteen thousand. In the same way, second entry, cash account debit to sales account. Now the amount of sales is fourteen thousand. So in the column of cash fourteen thousand, in column of sales. Fourteen thousand B goods purchased and goods sold on cash. We have purchased the goods. Goods are coming in purchase account. See, don't confuse with the line in the line of purchase. Debit side in the line of cash, credit side both are not same line, both are exact. So goods are coming in purchase account debit. Cash is paid because it is written cash purchase, so cash is going out cash credit. In the same way, we are selling the goods sales account credit and cash is written only in the question. So cash will be coming in, goods will be going out, so cash to sales. Okay, next is on fifth, five, four, forty. A personal goods of ten thousand brought to business. Friends, whenever the word brought to business is given, only capital account is credited because owner is the giver of the goods or cash or asset or any other thing. So capital is credited. Now what owner is bringing goods? Goods is bringing so goods account is debited. If he is bringing cash, then cash debit. If he is bringing asset, then asset debit. If he is bringing goods, then goods debit. So goods account debit. to capital account 10000 don't confuse with the word personal if you are saying personal then directly don't decide it is drawings we are not taking the goods for personal use but personal goods are brought in the business so where the thing which is brought in the business given by owner so capital account credit and goods are coming in so goods account debit b goods brought in to business next 
4 40 goods of 12000 purchased from us we are purchasing the goods goods are coming in purchase account debit now here the name of her is given and no payment is clear so we are not paying the paying for the goods just her is the giver of the goods so credit the giver her account is credit but if we have paid the amount then cash or check will be debited but we are not paying any amount so goods are coming in her is only the giver we are not giving any cash so purchase debit and her friend purchase account debit to her account B goods purchased from her next date is 10 4 40 sorry I have not written the amount but also on the big side and on the credit side Zika. On 10th date, out of goods purchased due to defective goods, half of the goods are returned to Hirsch. We have purchased goods of 12,000 from Hirsch. We are returning half of the goods to Hirsch. So whenever we are purchasing, goods are coming in purchase debit. Hirsch is the giver, Hirsch is credited. Now we are returning back to Hirsch, so Hirsch will be the receiver, so Hirsch debit. Goods are going out which are purchased earlier. Goods are not going out through sales. Goods are going out which are purchased earlier. Debit purchase return should be so totally opposite end. First account debit to purchase returns account. Now the amount will be six thousand. B Goods purchased from her. Please mention the date because the amount is not given. We have to compare the amount. On 7440, half of goods are returned. Please write the narration properly. Don't write very short narration. Narration should be there which which explains the whole transaction. So instead, if you are writing two or three words, then I will not give the words. Write the narration properly. I will not allow to write very short narration. Okay. So here, what we are doing, the goods which we have purchased from Mars on 7 4. See, these both transactions are continuing. But if in between there are two or three transactions, then how will you get the amount? So please mention the date. We have purchased on 7th April. Now we are returning half of the goods. So on 7th April, 12,000. Half means 6,000 we are returned. When we are purchasing, purchase, goods are coming in, purchase debit, hers is the giver, hers credit. Whenever we are returning back, hers is the receiver, hers debit and goods purchased earlier are returned. So purchase returns account credit. Next date is 12. 12, 4, 14. Goods of 10,000 purchased from Ramila. Half amount is paid by check. This is the previous transaction in previous day which we have seen. We are purchasing the goods from Ramila. So purchase is debited. Now what we are doing? We are paying half amount by check. So we are paying half amount. So bank is the giver of that half amount. So bank account credit. And nothing is mentioned about the half amount. So half amount we are not paying. So name is to be returned. If you are not paying whole amount then the name is credited with whole amount. But we are paying half amount. So bank credit because we are paying by check and half amount is not paid so name is to be written. Okay friends? Yeah. So we are purchasing the goods. Goods are coming in. So purchase account debit. We are paying half amount through check. So cash is going out from the bank. So bank is the giver. Bank account credit. And we are not paying half amount. So name should be written. So to the account. Now goods are of 10,000. Half is paid by check, so in the bank account 5000, in the Ramila account also remaining 5000. 10 minus 5 should be 5, and both sides should be equal. B. Goods 
goods purchased from Pramila and half amount is paid by check. Next date is 15 for 14. Okay. Now, goods which are purchased from Ramila are of 10,000 are sold to Mita after adding 30 percentage profit and 10 percent trade discount. We are selling Ramila's good to Mita. So, goods are sold, goods are going out sales credit. Nothing is mentioned about the payment, so just Mita is the receiver of our goods, so Mita to sales. Okay? Mita account debit to sales account. First, we will write the narration, then I am giving the calculation being goods sold to Ramila on 12-4-14 sold to Mita after adding 30% profit and 10% trade discount. So, you cannot write a very short narration. You have to mention the whole thing which you are doing. That goods sold to Ramila on 12 for it is not compulsory that transactions will be continued. For learning this, now these are continued. But in between, if there are two or three transactions, then where you, from where will you take them out? So clear on 12 for sold to Mita. How? After adding 30% profit and 10% trade discount. See, they are not telling to subtract the trade discount. They are telling 10% trade discount. So don't add it, subtract it. Now, we are deciding the amount of goods. How to decide? See, now we all have calculators. So don't write long calculations. Everything is possible to calculate. How? Amount is equal to goods are 10,000. We want to add the profit, so plus 30 percentage. So take your calculators. Write 10,000 in your calculator. Now what I said plus 30 and percentage. So plus 30 and percentage. Directly you will get 13,000. Otherwise what you need to do first? 10,000. Multiply 30 percentage is 3,000. And then add 10,000. Then you will get 13,000. But this is very easy. 10,000. As it is given in the question. Goods sold or purchased from Ramila are of 10,000. Add 30 percent profit, so plus 30 percent, 13,000. Now, subtract 10 percent trade discount, so we will get them. So, from this amount only, minus 10 and percentage, 11, 7. Simple. Again, I will repeat. Here only it is written, adding 30 percent profit, so 10,000 plus 30 and percentage so 13,000 minus trade discount is always minus it is not recorded directly it is subtracted minus 10 and percentage 11, 7. this actual calculation is not required actually this calculation is not required you have the calculator you can do anything you want so meta 11, 700 sales 11, 700 so very easy yes next date is 18 Mita returned goods of 1000. We have sold the goods to Mita. Mita was receiver, Mita debit, goods going out, sales credit. Now she is returning the goods, same like here, we are returning to her. So, we are, Mita is returning the goods. So, when the goods are going out, sales credit, when the goods are coming, which are sold earlier, so sales return account debit, and Mita is now the giver. Mita was first the receiver, now she is the giver, so Mita should be credited. So, Goods sold going out, so credit. Now goods coming in which are sold, so sales returns account debit. 
sales returns account debit to meet the account. See, this is opposite. When we are purchasing, purchase to horse. When we are returning, horse is credited. Now horse is debit and purchase returns is credit. In the same way, when we are selling, meta to sales. Now sales is credit, so sales return will be debit and meta is credit. And amount they have given of one thousand. B. Goods sold to Mita are returned. Goods sold to Mita are returned. Next date is 20. For 40. Goods of 20,000 sold to Kalpana at 10% trade discount and 5% cash discount. I have given notes now that trade discount is directly subtracted, it is not recorded and it is given to everyone. So three points you have to remember. That trade discount can be given to anyone, it is not recorded in the books, directly subtracted and uh, it, is, it can be given to everyone and it is directly subtracted and net amount is returned. Now what you will remember about cash discount, that cash discount cannot be given to anyone. It is given when the amount is immediately paid by cash or check. First check here, amount is paid. Goods are sold to come at 10% trade discount, 5% cash discount. Goods are sold, but no clearance about payment is there. Payment is not clear. So, Nothing is received from Kalpana, so cash discount will be cancelled here. Now friends, if you are not remembering the important points about cash discount, then your entry will be wrong. Why? Because just now I have given the points and in first chapter also you can see that points are given. Trade discount is given to everyone. It is directly deducted and net amount is shown. But cash discount is given only to the persons who are immediately paying. They are not paying immediately. Then cash discount is done after deducting the trade discount. So here only trade discount is allowed. Now we are selling the goods to Kalpana. Goods are going out, sales credit. Kalpana is receiving, no payment is received. So Kalpana is just receiving the goods. So Kalpana sales. So Kalpana account debit to sales account. First, write in the narration B. Goods sold to Kalpana at 10% trade discount but not 5% cash discount as no amount is. So we should clear that. In questions they are telling 10% trade discount and 5% cash discount. But here we need to show in narration. Narration is for that only. That why we are not allowing cash discount because no amount is paid by. So only trade discount. Now amount. Goods are of 20,000. We have to only subtract 10% trade discount. So minus 10%. So you will get. 80,000. Okay, let us do in our calculator. Write 20,000 minus 10 and percentage. 18,000. Trade discount is directly subtracted, not shown anywhere. Okay? Yeah. Question is not over. Okay, still there are transactions. Next cycle. Don't skip it. Next date is 22, 22nd April. So 22, 4, 40. Okay, now all the different transactions are given. Goods of 2000 destroyed by fire. Insurance company admitted a claim of 1000. See, still in chapter number 2, we have learned only this much thing that goods are destroyed by fire. So goods are going out other than sales, so purchase is credited. 
Now, what thing is to be debited as the goods are destroyed by fire? There is loss. So, loss by fire account debit to purchase account. In previous chapter, we have learned this much concept. But friends, one more thing is given. That what is insurance? Insurance is the guarantee taken by one company. Uh, we can take on our life also. On our life, how can we take that if I am a person, I am taking the policy. Now, if something happens to me in future and I am not there, then if I have taken the insurance, then my family will be benefited. In the same way, if you are taking the insurance of fire or anything, or your car also, so by chance anything happens accidentally, then you will get the amount from insurance company. Now, what is the thing here? Goods are of 2000. So, goods are going of 2000, so purchase is credit because outward of goods is 2000. Insurance company is giving us 1000. So, insurance company is giving us but not giving now, it will give in future. So, we have to receive the amount from them. So, receivables are always debit, payables are always credit, it is our rule. So, insurance company account debit 1000 and this purchase is account is credited 2000. Now, 2000 minus 1000, 1000 is our loss because goods are actually of 2000. Insurance company is giving us 1000, 1000 we are not getting, that is our loss. But if nothing is given about insurance company, then entry will be simple. Loss by fire account debit to purchase account because 2000 where the goods going out, so purchase credit with 2000. Now, we are getting nothing from the insurance company. So, total amount is our loss. Loss by fire or loss by rain or loss by theft or loss by advertisement or loss by free samples or anything is our loss only. But here specially we are getting 1000 from insurance company because we have taken the insurance. So, how to write the thing? As the amount is receivable from insurance company. So, insurance company account debit and in bracket I will write claim. Because they are giving us the claim, then some amount we are not getting. Loss due to fire account debit to purchase. Now, friends, first you fill the amount of goods. The amount of goods is two thousand. So on the credit side of purchase, in the line of purchase account, write two thousand. Okay. Now in the question they are telling that insurance company admitted a claim. They are not giving now admitted means they will give in future. So they will give rupees 1000. Now as you know debit should be equal to credit on credit side we have 2000 for purchase of goods. Now from 2000, 1000 is given and 1000 is not given. So 1000 is our loss to supply. Now I will explain you three concepts about this. If the question is there that goods of 2000 are destroyed by fire, only this much is given. Insurance company is not giving anything, so what will be the entry loss due to fire account debit to purchase account 2000, 2000 because insurance company is giving nothing. And if suppose the question is such that goods of 2000 destroyed by fire, insurance company has given the full amount. So, insurance company account debit 2000, purchase account credit 2000, nothing will be our loss because insurance company is giving full claim. In the previous case, I said insurance company is not giving anything, so only loss due to fire. If insurance company is giving the full claim, then insurance company account debit to purchase account. And this is the third aspect that some amount is given by insurance company, some amount is not given, that is our loss and our goods are going out. So, that should be credited. So, this is the best example to learn this thing. Now, if sometimes if I change the question, see, question I will change. Because you are learning account, you are not getting the questions which are directly from the book. I will change little, little amount. So, here, if I am changing the question as goods of 2000 destroyed by fire, insurance company has given the full claim. So, what is the entry insurance company account debit to purchase account 2000? Because there is no loss. Now, if I am doing the question like this, that goods of 2000 destroyed by fire, and but uh, okay, I am giving this much question. I am not giving anything about the claim. So, loss due to fire account debit to purchase account 2000, 2000, because nothing is given by insurance company. And if I am writing that goods of 2000 destroyed by fire, insurance company gives 1000. 
So purchase account credit 2000, insurance company 1000 and remaining they are not in that is our loss of purchase. Okay, so in this way you need to write B. Goods destroyed by the fire and insurance company admitted the claim of rupees one thousand. Next day is twenty fifth. See, all these transactions are very very important. This chapter is only very important because this is the base for you. Goods of 500 ruined in rain means destroyed in rain. 200 are realized by selling it. Now, same transaction like this. Goods are going by rain of 500. So, purchase will be credited by 500. Now here there is no insurance company. Here 200 is realized by selling of these goods means when the goods are destroyed in rain they are wet, they are somewhat destroyed. So we can view it as a scrap or hunger. So 200 cash we are getting, so cash we are getting, so cash account debit 200 like insurance company account 1000. Here we are getting a cash of 200. So credit side is 500, debit side is 200, so loss will be 300. Okay, so same thing like this, how cash account debit, loss due to rain account debit to purchase. Now compare it with this previous transaction, their goods were of 2000, here goods are 500, so credit side right 500. Insurance company is giving them 1000, so in insurance company we have written 1000. Here we are receiving 200 by selling it. So 200. So 2000 minus 1000 is loss is 1000. Here 500 minus 200 loss is 300. But don't catch up the word selling by it. So don't credit sales for them. We will credit purchase because goods are going out other than sales. That is the word. Okay. B. Goods ruined in rain and rupees 200 received by selling them. Next date is 27, 27,440. Goods of 300 received as free sample. Understand the difference. We are giving the goods as free sample or we are receiving the goods as free sample. If we are giving the goods as free sample, then our goods are going. So purchase is credited and uh, goods given as free samples account debit. But here we are receiving the goods by free, free of samples. So our cash is not going out. Only party is giving us the goods. So it is non-economic transaction. Because it is for free sample only. Non-economic transaction. Why non-economic transaction? Again, I will say friends, we are receiving the goods, but we are not doing anything of that goods. That is for our trial. That is for our trial. So it is not economic transaction. But very important thing is given in next transaction 29. Goods of 250 were received as free samples. Now we are selling that free samples as for 400. Actually, what is the use of this free sample to try? To try the goods, to check the quality of goods. Now, what we are doing, we are very smart, we are over smart. We are selling that samples also in the market. Actually, the use of sample is to check the goods. So we have checked the goods, so it is non-economic transaction. We have consumed that goods. Now in the next transaction, again we are getting the goods of rupees 250 and we are selling it for higher price of 400. So this is not non-economic transaction, it is economic transaction because we are getting the amount. So cash account debit to sales account. Now why I am writing sales account, the reason is simple, a party has given us the goods free of cost. 
but we are selling so goods are going out sales credit and we are receiving cash we are not giving goods we are not giving free they are giving us free so cash account debit to sales account 400 400 b goods received as free samples are sold so if we are simply receiving the goods not giving the goods if we are simply receiving the goods as free sample it is non economic because it is for a trial now if that goods are for trial and again we are selling it so we are receiving the cash and our goods are going out so cash account debit to sales account like a normal transaction we are selling the goods and the last is 40 uh, sorry 30 30 for 40 last transaction now as i said that goods are going out for exchanging an asset a mobile of 1500 is purchased against exchange of goods of 1000 goods are going of 1000 mobile is coming so mobile is coming in so mobile account debit mobile account debit now mobile is our asset okay to purchase account because goods are going out for other reasons now, mobile is of 1500 and goods are of 1000. So, in theory part only, I said, if you did not get that word, then uh, bring your lecture forward, uh, sorry, backward, and check what I spoke. Whenever we are exchanging the goods for asset, write the amount of goods only, whether it is less or more, write the amounts of goods only because our goods are going for 1000 and mobile or any other asset is of more or less amount. Not done only write our own amount because we are the businessmen. Okay, we are writing for us. Being mobile purchased by exchanging goods. So today's question was very tricky. Today's question was. Okay, friends, let's take the total 15,000, 14,000, 10,000, 12,000, 6,000, 10,000, 11, 700, 1,000, 80,000, 1,000, 1,000, 200, 300, 400, and 1,000. 1 lakh, 1,600. 1 lakh, 1,600. Okay. Correct. 15,000, 14,000, 10,000, 12,000, 6,000, 5,000, 5,000, 11, 700, 1,000, 18,000, 2,000, 500, 400, 1,000, 1 lakh, 1,000, Now, again, let's check. This is my method. After completing the whole sum, again, we are seeing the whole sum, nothing we will do. Okay, that is not a problem if we are repeating this. Many of you may not be liking that, but it's my method. Okay, yeah. Read again the sum. Number one cash purchase 15,000, cash sales 14,000. They are by themselves clearing the words that we are selling the goods and we are purchasing the goods through cash. So, goods are coming in, cash is going out, so purchase to cash. And again, we are selling the goods, goods are going out and cash is coming in, so cash to sales. A personal goods of 10,000 brought in to business. Whenever we are bringing anything to business, capital is credit because owner is the giver. And what is coming in goods? So goods account debit to capital account. Goods of 12,000 purchased from us. We are purchasing the goods, goods are coming in, so purchase account debit. We are not paying anything, only horse is the giver, so purchase account debit to horse account. Out of goods purchased due to defective, half of the goods are returned to horse. Whenever we are purchasing the goods, purchase account debit to horse account. We are returning the goods, so now horse will be the receiver, so horse account debit. Goods purchased are going out, so purchase returns account will be credited and the amount is half. And mention in the narration. Now next, goods of 10,000 purchased from Ramila, half amount is paid by check. We are purchasing the goods. So goods are coming in, purchase account debit. Half amount is given through check, bank is the giver, bank account credit. 
and half amount is not clear, so half amount is not given. So write the name. So purchase account maybe ten thousand, giving half amount check five thousand, not giving half amount so Ramila's account five thousand. Next, goods purchased from Ramila sold to Mita after adding thirty percent profit and ten percent trade discount. We are selling the goods to Mita. The goods which are purchased from Ramila by adding ten percent, sorry, thirty percent profit and ten percent trade discount, but payment is not received. So Mita is only receiving the goods and our goods are going out. So Mita account debit to sales account. Now goods were of ten thousand which are purchased from Ramila, adding thirty percent, so thirteen thousand, subtracting ten percent trade discount, but not recording anywhere. So eleven seven hundred, eleven seven. Mita is returning the goods which are sold to her of one thousand. So when we are selling, Mita to sales. Now when she is returning, sales returns. Goods are coming in, so sales return account debit to Mita. Goods of twenty thousand sold to Kalpana at ten percent trade discount, five percent cash discount. We are selling the goods to Kalpana, but she is not giving the payment. So cancel cash discount. Because cash discount is only calculated when the amount is actually received. So only consider trade discount. We are selling the goods. Goods are going out. Sales credit. Kalpana is the receiver. Kalpana sales and the amount will be twenty thousand minus ten percent trade discount only. So eighteen. Next. Goods of two thousand destroyed by fire. Insurance company admitted a claim of one thousand. Our goods are going out through. Outward of goods other than sales, so purchase account is credited with two thousand. Insurance company is giving us in future, so insurance company a bit one thousand. Now difference of two thousand and one thousand less amount is received, so remaining amount will be lost. So entry will be insurance company account a bit because we have to receive in future. Loss is occurred because two thousand minus one thousand is lost, so loss by fire account a bit and goods are going for two thousand, so two thousand is credited. Goods of 500 ruined in train, 200 are realized by selling. Same type of transaction. Here goods are going by fire of 2000. Here goods are going through rain of 500. So credit purchase with fire. We are getting cash of 200 instead of insurance company. We are getting simply cash. So cash account debit. Now 500 goods are there. 200 we are getting cash. 300 still are not getting. So 500 minus 200, 300 is our loss. In the same way, 2000 minus 1000, 1000 was our loss. These two are same type. Right? Goods of 300 received as free sample. Just we are receiving free sample for our trial. We are doing nothing with that goods. Goods are received. We are not giving. If we are giving, then entry will come. But if we are receiving and we are not doing anything, so non-economic transaction. And again, if we are receiving the goods and we are selling it. In the next transaction, we are receiving the goods as free sample, but again we are selling it. Cash is received and goods are going out, so cash to sales. But if we are giving the goods, then goods given as free samples to purchase will come. But if we are receiving the goods and if we are not doing anything, then non-economic. And if we are receiving the goods as free sample and we are selling it, then cash to sales. Next, a mobile is purchased by exchanging the goods. Now this is the this is also outward of goods other than sales. So purchase is credit, and asset is purchase. So asset name is mobile. So mobile account debit mobile comes in and goods are going out other than sales. So purchase account credit. There will be two amounts more or less. Don't worry, but write the amount of goods only one thousand one thousand. You don't think that you have to write the lesser amount. You have to write the amount which is of goods. So friends, this is the nine sum. This is very important. Watch the lecture two or three times if you are not getting it. So, and as for that, send it to me your work as soon as possible. Thank you so much.